Hey everyone and welcome back to Upload the Download and today we've got tons of news on new phones and new consoles and new games and new... Ah, oh, too many news. First up, touching on last episode, is the Chromebook Pixel and it turns out it is very much real. Google came out and told us all about it. It's got an Intel i5 processor, standard Intel HD 4000 graphics, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of hard disk space, and a price of $1,299, which is quite an expensive price. It's available now in certain parts of the world. Australia not being one of them. Nokia phone announcements on Nokia. Nokia, Nokia, bloody damn tech pronunciations. Nokia have announced a ton of new phones this week. Same with Samsung, we'll get more into them in a second. Quite surprisingly though, one of the new phones that Nokia has announced is sort of going back into Nokia's roots. It's got buttons, it looks pretty invincible, and it's $20. The Nokia 105 is a $20 smartphone. Apart from the Nokia 105, three other phones were announced. The Nokia Lumia 720, the Nokia Lumia 520, and the Nokia 301. The phones don't end there. Now we're going to go into Samsung's phone announcements, or mobile device announcements. Samsung announced that the Samsung Galaxy S4 will be coming out on March 14th possibly alongside the new Samsung Galaxy Fame and Samsung Galaxy Young. Not to mention the all new Samsung Galaxy Note 8, which is a phablet that is most definitely way too large for any of my pockets. So many phones! I'm not gonna swim around in all of the new details on all of these phones. You can find them in the description, I'll put links and info and all that snazz down below so that I don't have to speak them here, otherwise we'll be here for years. Next up is Ubuntu Tablet OS. Now of course the mobile preview of Ubuntu Mobile OS has been available for a few weeks now for people to download and install it on their phones and try it out. And it seems that while everyone was running around and you know getting rid of their Android, uh, Canonical has actually come out and said, guess what? Ubuntu also does tablet. It was made quite clear some time ago that Ubuntu really is aiming at going everywhere whether it's desktop, phone, tablet, or television. And I think that Canonical sticking to this idea of a unified interface across all of these devices will definitely help hold its execution of the idea together a lot better than a lot of other people who have tried to do this. Whereas others have had a phone that has Android and then when you plug it into a desktop it becomes a Linux distro, you know, Ubuntu is gonna be different to that. It's gonna be the same, 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 same. Fluidity. So much talk about phones and tablets, it's time to get into something that really matters in real life. Superheroes. A guy by the name of Victor, whose last name I am not going to try and pronounce, over at the University of Illinois in Chicago has created a new spider sense suit. The suit, which could prove incredibly useful for those without vision, is able to detect nearby objects and tell the user by feel which I think is pretty cool. So, you know, just add a few more features like, I don't know, being able to climb up walls and maybe shooting webs and I'll take 10. Next up, Sony had a massive two hour long press conference to announce the PlayStation 4. And amazingly, somehow in that time, they managed to not show the console once. However, they did show off the pretty good specs for a gaming console. Wink wink, nudge nudge, PC gamers, you know what I mean. And tell us that PlayStation 3 discs will not work in the next generation console. But that's okay, because you can just go and download them again off the PlayStation Store. I don't want to do that, I want to run my game. And they definitely didn't hesitate in showing off the graphic capabilities of this new system. Now I have to say, the graphics on this PlayStation 4 are nothing to complain about. They are pretty good. And the PlayStation 4 supports the Unreal Engine 4, which is, you know, PlayStation 4, Unreal Engine 4, kind of mix. Next up, now you know this certain game that was originally planned for Macintosh and then bought by Microsoft and then released exclusively on Xbox, although the first and second game were also released on PC? Ah, Halo, developed by Bungie, one of my favorite games of all time. Now there's a common misconception that Bungie actually died when they transformed into 343 Industries, which isn't actually what happened. Bungie actually split off from Microsoft and became an independent game developer once again. So they can actually develop 
games for any console they wish now. And that's exactly what they're doing with a new game they've announced called Destiny, which will be available on Xbox and PlayStation. Destiny was announced around the same time as the PlayStation 4 because that's one console that it will probably look really amazing on. But yeah, I think it's really cool that Bungie can bring their magic to PlayStation users. And finally, Microsoft may be heading to an Apple-styled OS release cycle with a new version of Windows 8 in the works codenamed Windows Blue, which is apparently in the middle of its development cycle and it's a lot bigger than just a service pack. The update is supposedly going to be bringing more integrated search functions into Windows 8. Unfortunately, this means integrating Bing even more. Along with the search functionality that will come in this update, we'll also have a new update of Internet Explorer 11, as well as support for 7 and 8 inch touch Windows tablets and sizable live tiles. At least this update, unlike Apple's updates that it releases, will be free. So it's sort of like a service pack, but it's not, because they're labeling it as I give up. Time to just read off two more other stories. In amongst all of the Samsung and Nokia Kazam, there was also another phone announced, sort of an underdog. It's a Firefox OS powered Acatel One. Pretty cool looking smartphone, interesting to see it. And yeah, I'll, I wanna try some stuff out. Also, too many iPads, says Brazil. Apple may be sued in Brazil for releasing updates to its iPad range way too quickly. Having a third generation iPad and then five months later having a fourth generation. Got on you Brazil. Beat them. So there we go for the tech news. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on the next episode of Upload the Download. See you later.